Welcome back to Big Eats, everyone. I am your chef, Leah, and this week's special theme is, can I get a drum roll, please? Trending foods. And also, our special guest for this episode is... Jocelyn! So how are you doing, Joss? I'm doing good, thanks. Like I should. When in the walk around the neighborhood. Hey Joss, is there anything special you wanted to make this week? Yeah, I saw these super cool wings on Newt's TikTok. Oh, like chicken wings. No, the cauliflower ones. Oh. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian, so I can't eat meat. Oh, very cool. Well, let's make a Caesar salad to go along with that too. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's get started. Um, if you're cooking, please make sure your parents are in the kitchen with you so you're staying safe. An added bonus today is that all of these recipes are vegetarian or if you choose vegan, and they're pretty easy to make too. The ingredients for our cauliflower wings are cauliflower, all-purpose flour, buttermilk, and melted butter in this very cool cow mug. We also have some onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, salt, and some buffalo sauce. Yeah, and if you don't really like the flavor of buffalo sauce, or if you don't have it at home, you can really put any flavor you want, like teriyaki sauce, or a lemon pepper, or a garlic honey. For a salad dressing, we have some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and some lemon juice. We also have Parmesan cheese, olive oil, and mayo, and we're supposed to have Dijon mustard, but since we don't have that today, we're just using regular yellow mustard. The ingredients for our actual salad is some romaine lettuce. We have some kale here, but you can put any green that you want to put in. And we also have some tomatoes, um, but if you want to put anything from your fridge, like broccoli or carrots, you can put it. So it's really whatever you want. Yeah, but we also have some shaved parmesan and some store-bought croutons. Wait, cut, 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 cut. What is this? No. You gotta use fresh baguette. Oh, you gotta use <laughs> here. Take care. Okay. We have to make our own croutons. You know what? It's actually not that hard. Okay. Okay. Why he hit us so hard? <laughs> I love that! <laughs> Alright, let's get started on our cauliflower wings. Wait, I think I'm getting a call. Huh? Oh. Hey everybody, I have your first cooking nugget. Did you know that the cauliflower can grow from 8 to 30 inches both in height and width? And colored cauliflower is available in green, also known as broccoli flower, purple and orange varieties. Although it may look different, from the popular white cauliflower, the taste is just the same. Catch you on the next nugget. Wow, that's so crazy. Is it like this big? Uh, it's just so silly. I think it's like that big. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> well, okay, 30 inches is like this. So. No, it's not. Yeah. This is like this. 30 inches oh, is, this is, a foot? is six this inches foot? shy of one yard. This is another one yard foot? is like this. That's so it's cute. like this. Okay. You're silly. I am silly. Well, okay, anyways, for your cauliflower wings, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees and line a baking sheet with some parchment paper. In this large bowl, we're going to combine the spices. So we're going to have our onion. You can, oh, you want to open the garlic or the paprika? You just put one teaspoon of each. <laughs> that's okay. Is it a teaspoon? I think you should open the other side <laughs> first. But that's okay. That's okay. Is this one also a teaspoon? Yeah. But we love garlic, so that looks okay. We need some salt. Now that we're done with our spices and salt, we're going to add our flour. Do you want to whisk it together? We're just whisking it so that it gets combined and distributed evenly throughout our batter. So once our dry ingredients are thoroughly mixed together, we're gonna add in our buttermilk. And here you can put it in and it's gonna make a pretty thick batter. And that is what you want. For our buttermilk, if you don't have it, you can use any type of milk that you have in your house. So you can use almond or soy or regular milk if you want to. It's getting kind of thick, Leah. What should we do? 
we here let me help you out <laughs> like our batter is a little bit thick so we're just going to add a little bit more buttermilk until it's um, a, a more liquidy consistency. <laughs> this is so hard. And then this is the consistency that we ended up with in the batter, but I think it should be a little bit less liquidy, so if you can get to that, that would be great. Um, right now though, we are going to add all of our cauliflower into our batter, and would you mind mixing it around, Jocelyn? And you have to be very delicate with this step because cauliflower can break off really easily. Mixing the cauliflower is all done, but it will require a little bit of patience. Um, and now you can spread it out on your baking sheet and make sure there is room in between each cauliflower so that the air can circulate inside the oven and make it really crispy. I'll pour it on. we are all done placing our cauliflower onto our baking sheet and we are going to pop it in the 375 degree oven for 20 minutes and then we're gonna flip it onto the other side and then bake it for another 20 minutes now that our cauliflower wings are in the oven we're gonna make our sauce so in here we have our buffalo sauce and then we just have a little bit of butter um, and then we're just gonna mix it you can mix pour that in there You can hold it. It'll be easier. Yes. Yeah. So we're just gonna mix those together, and then after that, we're gonna move on to our croutons. Yeah. Make sure your butter is more melted than ours. <laughs> It is good with olive oil. If you're happy and you're eating bread, that's really all you can ask for. For our homemade croutons, you just need to preheat the oven to 375 degrees and line a baking sheet with parchment. We're going to get started with our chopped up our cubed up um, <laughs> bread and you're supposed to make it about three quarters of an inch um, but these are a little bit smaller but th that's okay just whatever size that you want we're gonna put it in this bowl along with that we're gonna add some olive oil okay. all of it. after we add our olive oil we're gonna add our seasoning so we're gonna have some of this Italian seasoning um, and then we're gonna add some pepper and salt whatever you want basically to your taste Ha <laughs> 
We love our pepper. <laughs> we love our pepper. And then we're, I really like spicy things, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of these chili flakes. And we also have some garlic powder to just add a little more flavor. Great. And then we're just gonna toss it. I'm gonna use my hand. Make sure your hands are clean. And then I'm just gonna toss it, toss the bread in it. And Joss, do you mind getting our pan? Or you can do something like this. Just to mix it. So now that we have mixed all of our olive oil and spices in, um, my hands are very oily. Um, we're gonna bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your bread. And you also wanna kind of distribute, distribute it evenly on your pan so that there's enough space in between them to get all nice and crispy. All right, on to our salad dressing. Ping pong trick shots by James. earlier but please flip your croutons halfway through so about seven to ten minutes through your baking process to make them brown on every side we're gonna make our salad dressing now so we're gonna have our mayo and we're gonna put our oil and our lemon juice into it And now to that, I'm just gonna add some garlic powder. You're supposed to use real garlic, but we didn't wanna cut off a garlic clove, so we're just using the powder. And we're gonna have more of the lovely pepper. Her favorite, of course. Of course. Just a little more. <laughs> All right. And then we have some salt, just a little bit. And then our mustard. So we're actually supposed to put this into a blender, but we didn't want to use a blender for this, so you can use a whisk or you can use a spoon for this and it'll be fine. It's kind of chunky. It's really chunky. Taste it. It's pretty good. It's kind of sour, but it's good. So we mix all of those ingredients in and we're now going to add some Parmesan. Um, and there you go. We also love lots of cheese here. We're from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can assemble our salad now. We've roughly chopped our romaine, and then we have some baby kale, so I'm just gonna put that in there too. Mm -hmm. We also have some tomatoes, the yeah. cherry ones. Oh, oops, it's okay. Just sprinkle it around. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, and then we are going to add our salad dressing now, and we're just gonna add, we're gonna add half first to see if we want to put more. Cause you can always put more, but you can never take away. Yeah, that is words to live by. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, these are, are freshly baked. They're very crispy. Hey, do you want to try one? Yeah, let's eat one. Eat some more. Mmm, they are so good. You want to just add half? Yep. Okay. So 
But yeah, if you guys have the chance, you should make your own croutons. It's very good. Better. Okay. Should I just mix it with a little? Let me see if I can. Okay. Whoa. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Leah. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more time. One more time. Okay, okay. Oh, she's doing it. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I can do this. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna eat everything that falls. The table is clean. <laughs> Thank you for the songs. Alright, now that we've tossed our salad, let's try it to see if there's enough dressing. I like how we both look at the same type. What do you think? Yep. I think it's good. Yeah. Alright. Let's move on to our wings now. Now that our wings are out of the oven, we're gonna just toss it with our sauce in a bowl. You can also just lift up the parchment. Yeah. It's hot. Teamwork makes the dream work. Cauliflower wings are easier than salad. <laughs> I know he's so Ooh. Is that good? One more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, now that we have our tossed cauliflower wings, we just added some baby carrots and celery sticks and some ranch to make it look really pretty. Um, and then we also have our salad. So do you want to try our yes. wings? Ooh, this looks so good. It does. Wow. Oops, I'm, sure I'm gonna it. dip it okay. in this. I'm just gonna do it. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I just said chicken. <laughs> this is pretty good. your second cooking nugget. Okay, so you know how most people like eating Caesar salad? Well, for a short time in 1998, Caesar salad was illegal in California because it contained raw egg. Good thing it's legal now. <laughs> I gotta go. See you next time. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let's try our salad. You want to get something in every bite. Oh, oh this is a very big bite. Okay. Okay. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. Mm. I really like the tomato in there. It gives it a burst mm -hmm. of sweetness. I love it. Very crisp. Yeah, and the lemon from the salad dressing gives it a little bit of acidity, but then the mayo gives it a little bit of creaminess. It's very good. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna try this crouton. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Well, thank you for cooking with us today. Hope you had fun. Make sure to snap your pictures or your videos of the food and put it in the Google Classroom. We will see you next time on the next episode of Big Eats. 
bye